smart thing to operate a phone while driving? Actually, it's probably never a smart thing. You should avoid it whenever possible. But there are some cases where you just have to. And for those cases, Google invented the car panel so or the car dock, depending on the phone you have. And this is going to give you an easy to find method for getting stuff like making calls, searching for stuff, getting navigation. That's all good and well, but there are other things that I want to do when my phone's in the car dock mode. And for that, I get custom car home. I prefer this app because it allows you to create custom shortcuts. So yes, I can have Google Maps as one of my shortcuts, but I can also just make it one where it goes directly to my apartment. So I just click that. I just click this button right here and it'll give me navigation to it. I can also have it where I want to open up Double Twist or Media Fly or whatever media player. I can also have a direct shortcut. So I don't need to press phone and then favorites like you do in Car Panel. With this, I just press one time and it starts dialing my fake contact. That's not a real number, so don't bother calling it. Uh, also, you have voice dialer, so I can just tap that and say, call Melissa. Okay, I'm navigate away so you don't see Melissa's number. All right, and that. And a great thing about this is, like I said, you can do custom shortcuts, so you can have multiple pages. So I can make this entire page my favorite contacts. So instead of pressing, I can just swipe to the left, and now I have my dad, my brother, uh, all these other people, people from work, uh, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, etc. Uh, when you go to the right, uh, you can also add some other shortcuts. You can have three panels, or you can just have the one if you want. And then you've got the voice recorder. So when you're driving, you say, oh, note to self. You can even have Shazam open. So if there's a song on the radio that you want to know the, the name to, and you don't want to wait for the DJ to say it, just press Shazam, and it'll tell you. You can have Lingo Voice. So you can do search. You can do automation. You can have uh, stuff read back to you. You can get Buzz Voice on here. There's a lot of things you can do. What I really like about the app is that it creates uh, options for automated things. So some car friendly settings, I can have auto enable speakerphone, auto enable Bluetooth, auto disable Wi-Fi. I can keep the, the screen on. I can set the brightness level to high if I want or auto. And uh, it's really good. I highly recommend this app. It's called Custom Car Home. And as a bonus tip, if you use Tasker or you use uh, Locale or whatever, one of those automation apps, create a profile that will auto turn on GPS for you. Uh, you can also do some other settings to your liking. And also you can get Edwin. When you tap Edwin, you, uh, this lets you do voice commands. So I say, turn on Bluetooth. And then it'll turn on, turn on Bluetooth. Okay, now I, when I go back to this app, now I've got my Bluetooth on. Obviously, like I said, Bluetooth is built in, but that's just an example. There's other stuff you can do with Edwin or other automation apps. So go in the market, custom car home, test it out for yourself. Drive safely, people. Don't ever text and drive. Don't ever look at your phone and too much and drive. This is Andrew from Adronica.com. I gotta go charge my battery, so excuse me, folks. Oh, 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 oh